Alright, so a new update just came out for the Tesla Model 3, and we're going to take a look at this new update, because it's pretty substantial. Now, I say that it's a new update, but in reality, this is an update that has actually been out for a while, although they might have just tweaked it or something, because I got a new update notification on my phone, I ran the update, and then when I checked the release notes, it's the same update that I got, you know, a couple weeks ago. But it's significant and it's certainly worth talking about. So let's take a look at it. So this is version 10.2, 2020.4.1. And we're gonna take a look at the release notes. All right, so number one, view additional information regarding the configuration of your car by tapping controls, software, additional vehicle information. Let's try that. Additional vehicle information. Audio system, premium, autopilot computer, 2.5 computer, uh, cell, I-M-E-I-S-V, garage door opener, home link five, motor type front induction, motor type rear permanent magnet. All right, so there we go, additional vehicle information. Voice commands, so now voice commands have been rebuilt to understand natural language. So basically they did a whole bunch of updates to voice commands. You can now set your climate, uh, you can adjust your mirrors, you can set your navigation or some navigation anyway, such as saying, let's go to work or where are nearby supercharging stations. Uh, you can play the Beatles uh, or search for Joe Rogan podcast. You can also make calls or send text messages uh, as well as show me the rear camera and open autopilot settings. So let's try some of these. To do these, we just got to hit this button right here. Show me the rear camera. Boom. There we go. There's the rear camera. What if you can close the rear camera? Close rear camera. Yeah, look at that. Well, that works. Open autopilot settings. And they opened up uh, in the background here behind the uh, release notes. All right, so that's pretty cool and definitely a much needed improvement. Now, I've never been one who typically takes advantage of the voice controls in a car because they just don't ever seem to work that well. Uh, I have played around with these voice controls, though, mostly for controlling music. Like, if you want to play a particular song, or like my kids want to hear a particular song, I can just hit the button and say, hey, play, you know, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, and that'll pop right up on the screen and start playing. So, it does work pretty well, and uh, I'm looking forward to testing out some more of those voice controls. But let's get back to the release notes here. Okay, phone improvements. This is really neat. So with the phone improvements, they say it now allows you to read text messages. Now you actually have to go through and set this up. You have to reconnect your phone uh, by clicking on, I think it's the LTE up here, uh, Wi-Fi settings. No, it's the Bluetooth. So you click on the Bluetooth icon in the corner and then you can sync contacts and related calls for your different phones. Also sync messages. Now when you get a text message, it's pretty cool. It pops up down here, gives you a little beep, it pops up, and then if you tap on the text message, it will read it out loud to you. Now it also allows you with those voice commands we just talked about to reply to the text message, but I've tried that and I have not been able to get that to work so far. So maybe they still need to do a little bit more work on the text message replies, but at least Receiving text messages uh, definitely works well, and I, I love that feature, but you do have to kind of go in here and resync your phone and turn on the sync messages functionality. All right, next we have camp mode. You can now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices when camp mode is enabled. To enable camp mode, tap the fan icon at the bottom of the touchscreen and set keep climate on to camp while your car is in park. Let's try that. Put myself in park, we're gonna hit this button and camp mode car will stay on until battery reaches 20 percent sentry mode security alarm and walk away lock will be disabled wow so it kind of just keeps your car in a state of being on uh, where it doesn't even lock the doors if you walk away interesting all right we're going to turn that off what are what other modes they're going to have so there's like keep climate on mode there's the dog mode and now camp mode as well interesting Next, we have Tesla Theater. You can now watch Twitch in the Tesla Theater app. Uh, to launch Tesla Theater, tap the entertainment, blah, blah, blah. And so they now have Twitch. They've actually added a bunch of stuff to the Tesla Theater. If you click on entertainment and then theater, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch, and Tesla tutorials are all in here now. That's pretty cool. I've seen a, a release of an even newer one than I have, and this is even more filled up with more stuff. So looks like they're just adding more and more stuff to Tesla Theater all the time. 
We also have two new games. We've got Stardew Valley, which uh, my daughter likes a lot, and Backgammon, uh, which I used to play Backgammon when I was in my 20s. I haven't played it in probably 20 years, but maybe I'll give it a shot again. And then we've got Voice Keyboard. You can now use dictation to input text in your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard to input text via voice control. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I guess wherever you can input text, it allows you to use voice. That's interesting. I don't know where you're going to use that, but <laughs> I will. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out and try that one out. All right. So, tracks. Uh, in addition to creating visual masterpiece with the Tesla Sketchpad, boy, it's hot in here. I got it 77 degrees. Let me turn this down. I got my seat heater on too. Put it down to 72. You can now make audio masterpieces with tracks. Simply add some instruments, adjust the tempo, and record multiple tracks. All right, let's try that out. Tracks, there it is, it's in the toy box here. Oh, wow, <laughs> no way. All right, let's see if we can add, uh, we'll add drums, uh, concert drums, play. Drums, here we go, drums, oh, here, bass drum. All right, we're gonna add some some snare drum if we have one, acoustic snare. All right, let's add. Uh, it's not that responsive, <laughs> so we'll add a uh, open hi hat and a closed hi hat and a splash symbol, crash symbol. There we go. Closed hi hat. That's not closed hi hat. That is definitely not a closed hi hat sound. They've got their sounds mixed up. <laughs> so this does not seem to be working all that well. Oh. Oh, Synth bass. TR-808. Oh, now we got the hi-hat. You can do two at a time, though. All right, well, enough of that. You can also just lay your tracks out here and then just play them uh, by hitting play. Interesting. This is cool, but man, I'm not going to spend any time doing that. <laughs> That's, that seems like uh, I'd rather just play one of the video games they've got on here. All right, next we have an interesting feature, save dash cam clips on Honk. So I have that turned on and basically it's like, you know, you can always press the uh, dash cam button up here to save your clips at any time, but this will automatically save your clips when you honk the horn. Like, so the notion being like, if you're getting into some, you know, crap, you want to hit the horn and honk at someone, you probably want to save that clip without having to remember to do it automatically. So that's great. Driver profiles, additional navigation settings are now saved to your driver profile, such as volume levels for navigation voice gu uh, guidance, as well as traffic display settings. Okay, interesting and then new language support. So we now have uh, Danish is now available as a language uh, in the screen here. So that's awesome. This thing is getting better all the time. And uh, again, there is no other car that I know of. Well, come on camera, there we go. There's no other car that I know of that uh, regularly comes out with such cool updates. I mean, I've got Stardew Valley in my car now. Like I didn't have that before. Crazy, totally free. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.